Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my ranking for all 12 movies that Adam Sandler was in in the 1990s. So I've recently reviewed all of these movies throughout the last couple years on my channel, so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, do a ranking of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get going. Coming in at number 12 is... Coneheads. Now this is a movie that's based on an SNL skit. Uh, about the alien cone heads uh, starring Dan Aykroyd and Adam Sandler is only a cameo in this movie that's why this one is so low but I do enjoy this one quite a bit I think it is a pretty funny movie and stuff but uh, Adam Sandler wise it's not one of his best because he's barely even in it and everything but it is a fun movie so cone heads is number 12 and number 11 is Dirty Work this is another one that I really enjoy quite a bit and everything but the reason it's so low is Adam Sandler is just a cameo in here he's only in there for about maybe 30 seconds so uh, it, it's one of those that I really like a lot but it's just not one of my most favorites of his but I will say it is a really fun movie John uh, or not John Ham. I don't know why I almost said John Ham. I don't know where the heck that even came from uh, Norm MacDonald is really good as the main character in this movie he's really funny and this movie is written to fit his style of humor and everything and Bob Saget also directed it and he did a pretty good job directing it has a good supporting cast and there's tons of cool cameos in here and Adam Sandler is just one of the many cameos you got John Goodman Don Rickles and many many more people that show up in this movie so I really love Dirty Work it's number 11 and number 10 is Shakes the Clown. This is a really fun comedy movie starring Bobcat Goldthwait. He also wrote and directed it. And in this movie, uh, he plays this drunken clown who does birthday parties. And when he's not working, he's getting drunk, hanging out with his friends. Adam Sandler plays one of his friends, and so does Blake Clark. And they're, the, when the three of them are hanging out and stuff, it's a lot of fun. But the movie takes a lot of crazy twists and turns. And it, it is a really fun movie and everything. It ends with this big battle between all these different clowns and mimes. And everything it's just a really fun movie it's really silly and everything and but it is a fun one and everything it just isn't one of Adam Sandler's very best because he's not in it a lot but it still is a fun movie so it's number 10 and number nine is going overboard uh, this was his very first starring role and in this one he plays a comedian on this cruise ship who dreams of becoming the main comedian on the cruise ship there's an, another guy that uh, gets all the laughs from everybody that everybody just seems to love and he want, wants to beat him out to become the ship's comedian and uh, as the movie progresses he has to save the ship from terrorists it, it gets really crazy and weird and everything but it, it's a really fun movie it has a lot of really weird things that don't make a lot of logical sense but it, it's still a fun fun time it's not one of his best movies or anything but it, it is a fun movie and it's kind of cool to see the movie that got him started as far as his acting career went so uh yeah uh going overboard is number nine and number eight is mixed nuts this is a one another one where he's more of a supporting role but this one stars steve martin as a he, he works for this uh uh, kind of they kind of like give counseling advice to people who are having bad thoughts and stuff it's like a suicide line type thing and there it's Christmas time it's, this one's a Christmas movie and they're, they're having trouble sorry struggles uh, keeping the place going and stuff and it uh, it all results into the, them and a group, him and a group of people, including his co-workers and neighbors and stuff, uh, trying to to hide this dead body when they accidentally shoot their landlord. It, it gets really crazy. This movie is absolutely hilarious. I usually watch it at least once every other holiday season, or sometimes I'll watch it a couple holiday seasons in a row. It's one that's 
it's a dark comedy, but it, it's fun. It's funny um, and everything. And Adam Sandler is just really lovable in this movie. He's just a small role, but a small supporting role. He's one of the characters that ends up hanging out with them and stuff in their apartment and everything. But he, he's funny and everything. He does this thing where he sings a song uh, that where he's just making up, up the lyrics as he goes. And it's just kind of fun watching him do that. He does it off and on throughout the movie. But... Yeah, so uh, Mixed Nuts is number eight, and number seven is Airheads. I absolutely love this movie. I think it is a blast from start to finish, and uh, it features a, a really great cast. Three of my favorite 90s actors are the main stars of this movie, because not only does it star Adam Sandler, but it stars Brendan Fraser and Steve Buscemi, too, and Adam Sandler and Brendan Fraser were still starting to become popular in this movie. I think Steve Buscemi might have been around a little bit longer than both of them, uh, but I know they all kind of started close at the same time. So getting all three of these actors together, and they all have really great chemistry. In fact, uh, after this movie, Steve Buscemi would go on to cameo or play have small parts in a lot of Adam Sandler's movies since then. Um, they formed a really good friendship and everything. Brendan Fraser is great in this movie, as always. Um, in fact, this is more of his movie than it is theirs, but they're, but it wouldn't be good if all three of them weren't in it um, and everything. And Adam Sandler steals the show at times. There's parts where he's just, he's really lovel a lovable goofball character and everything, and he's great in here. So, uh, mix, uh, Airheads is uh, number seven, and... Uh, number six is Happy Gilmore. I, I absolutely love Happy Gilmore, and I know just because it's this slow doesn't mean that I think it's a bad movie. I've always said, though, that I don't think it, Happy Gilmore is one of his very best movies, like a lot of people say it is, but it is a great movie, and I can completely get why people love it so much and consider it to be their favorite. Um, but I personally just like some of the other ones on this list more. But there, there are a lot of really... Uh, fun moments in here and lovable characters. You got uh, uh, Chubbs. He's one of my favorite supporting characters in an Adam Sandler movie. He's very lovable. Uh, Shooter McGavin is one of Sandler's best villains. I, I don't deny that either. And the fight scene with Bob Barker is a ton of fun. And you get all kinds of other fun little moments. The guy, the guy that's like distracting him and stuff every five seconds in the game calling him a jackass and stuff. I love that scene too. There, there's a lot of fun moments in this movie, but uh, yeah, so uh, Happy Gilmore is number six and number five is The Water Boy. I absolutely love this movie. I think it's a really, really good movie. Um, it, it's a fun little underdog story about Bobby Boucher, this water boy who uh, goes on to become a star football player in his little hometown in Louisiana and uh, has a really great supporting cast in here. Henry Winkler is uh, really good as his, as his coach. He's really likable and, and you got Kathy Bates as his mom who just steals the show every time she's on screen and she uh, and Adam Sa her and Adam Sandler have really great chemistry and are believable as mother and son and then you got Feruza Balk as uh, Vicky Valancourt, one of his best girlfriends in any of his movies. I absolutely love her. And <clears throat> um, it's just a really, really fun movie. So uh, I absolutely love The Water Boy. So it's number five. And number four is Big Daddy. This one has always been one of my favorites. It's the one where he uh, adopts a kid named Julian and they have all kinds of little fun misadventures and stuff but he gets himself in trouble with the law because the way he adopted the kid and pretended to be his best friend and everything but this has been one of my favorites ever since I was a kid it was one of the first Adam Sandler movies I ever saw in fact it was the first one it was my introduction to Adam Sandler and I've always loved it ever since then but uh, ever since I was a kid but I love this movie it is a lot of fun Adam Sandler is just really great in this one he, he and he does kind of show a little bit of a serious side to him although he is more goofy and stuff in this one but it does kind of show hints of his more serious side at some parts of it but the the ending is really out there and has 
just throws logic out the window like a Fast and Furious movie, but it is a really fun movie, and I, I enjoy it quite a bit, so, uh, Big Daddy is, uh, number four, and number three is Bulletproof. Uh, this is a really fun buddy movie that, uh, stars him and Damon Wayans, and in this movie, Damon Wayans is playing this undercover cop, and he, he does a drug bust on uh, Adam Sandler's character, and he accidentally gets shot in the head by Adam Sandler's character, and uh, he's fixing to be sent to prison and stuff, of course, and Damon Wayans agrees to be the one to take him to prison, and uh, along the way, they at first, they they both don't trust each other and don't like each other, because uh, of course, Damon Wayans being an undercover cop, Adam Sandler doesn't trust him because he lied to him for so long, and uh, Damon Wayans don't trust Adam Sandler because he shot him. But as the movie progresses, their friendship rekindles, and uh, it, it just it becomes a really fun buddy movie. And their chemistry is great throughout the whole thing, and everything. And it, it just works really well. It's a pretty underrated movie from this era. This is the one. One of his movies that just doesn't ever get talked about from the 90s, and it, it's been one of my favorites ever since I first saw it. And it, uh, even for a while, it was my most favorite Adam Sandler movie. Uh, but it, it's not my most favorite anymore. But I still absolutely love it and everything. And just because it's number three doesn't mean I dislike it or anything. I just like the other two more. Um, but yeah, so Bulletproof is number three, and number two is. Billy Madison. This movie is barely number two. I absolutely love this one. And this is the other one from the 90s that everyone gives him credit for. And they say that it, uh, Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison are his only really good movies. Now, I totally disagree with that statement, but I will agree that Billy Madison is one of his very best and everything. I can understand why people say that because this movie is just absolutely hilarious. It's nothing but a dumb, fun, turn your brain off goofball comedy, but I absolutely love it. And every time I watch it, it just is a lot of fun. It has such a great supporting cast. Um, all the kids are really great in here, and you got. Uh, the guy that plays his dad, I can't remember his name, but he's really good. Bradley Whitford is the villain of the movie, is pretty good. Uh, and then you got little a little cameo from Steve Buscemi, which is pretty cool. And uh, a small role with Chris Farley and Norm MacDonald in his film debut and everything. So I, I love Billy Madison. It's just a really fun movie. It, it's dumb, but it's fun. And it's a total blast, and it's easily... Uh, one of my favorite movies of his from the 90s, and it's barely number two. But coming in at number one is... The Wedding Singer. I just absolutely love this movie. It's one where he plays a wedding singer that uh, gets dumped on his wedding day, and he's kind of down in the dumps, and he meets this girl named Julia, and uh, as the movie progresses, he falls in love with her, but she's engaged to someone else, and he eventually has to find a way to uh, stop her engagement and win her heart and it's just a really fun romantic comedy it's always been one of my favorites and everything I absolutely love this movie I think Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler have really really great chemistry and everything and they do in everything that they've been in together but this one uh, their chemistry is just really really great it's first great movie for both of them and it's got an awesome supporting cast Alan Cover, one of Adam Sandler's good buddies is in here he's got a kind of big supporting role in here which is kind of cool and Christine Taylor um, who you never see anymore she was pretty good in this and she was just coming off the success of the Brady Bunch movies um, and you got a uh, uh, bunch of other really great characters and Billy Idol has a small role as himself in here, and just a really fun movie. I've always really liked The Wedding Singer and everything, so it's easily my favorite movie of his from the 90s. So anyway, let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, movies of Adam Sandler's from the 90s are, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.